Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, and today I want to compare two perfumes that are very, very, very similar, in my opinion. Um, dupes, some say. I do not, though. They're not dupes. Similar. Definitely similar in composition, um, but not identical. They're sisters. Sisters. So, anyway, um, let's dive in. So, the Fragrance that I'm talking about is by Mason Margiela, and this is Replicas by The Fireplace. I purchased this at Sephora for about $160 for 3.4 fluid ounces. Um, this is a really cozy, snuggle season, like perfect for fall and winter. Um, and I just really, I like, um, it kind of, it's giving like not, you know, the smell of fire, but like the good kind, not the kind that like gets in your hair, makes your hair stink, and then you gotta take a shower immediately because it's so gross. It's not like that situation. It's like pretty, it's like I smell nutmeg, I smell a little cinnamon, I smell a lot of vanilla. Um, yeah, just it's like a warm and spicy, cozy, cozy season scent. So, um, but I tend to wear this one year round just because I really like it. And as you can see, this one is well loved. Um, and the story is my cousin and I were shopping, we were on vacation and we were both in Sephora and we randomly smelled this one and we both ended up loving it. So we both got it. So, um, but then I was like, I got into, um, you know, Amazon and Middle Eastern fragrance. And this is one of the first ones that I ordered on Amazon. So this was a blind buy for me. And this is Latafa Amir Al Oud Intense Oud. And these two are sisters. So a lot of differences here, but a lot of similarities, and the price point is totally different. So anyway, um, this one's $160 for 3.4 fluid ounces, and our La Tafa Amir Al Oud Intense Oud goes for about $24 on Amazon for 3.4 fluid ounces. I'm going to go ahead and state that this one has oud, this one does not. That's the biggest difference for these two fragrances. They're both spicy, they're both sweet, they're both warm, they're both cozy. Oud no oud. So, um, also the projection for this one is not incredible. The longevity is not incredible. This one is one that you're going to have to keep reapplying, which I find to be annoying considering it costs $160. This one for $24 will last most of the day, if not all day. And the longevity, the projection is, is a lot higher too. Um, and it has a typical Middle Eastern DNA, which I just love. So this one, I, I tend to favor more. And although you can't tell, because a little bit does go a long way, I have used this one quite a bit, but you really only need a couple of um, sprays. Whereas this one, I be spraying all over the place, like you name it. But this, you don't need much. So anyway, let's break down the notes and see what we think. So for our lovely replica, our top notes are clove, pink pepper, and orange blossom. Um, our heart notes are chestnut, guayac wood, and juniper. And so I looked up guayac wood. I'm like, what in the hell? It's basically amber leather and vanilla. So I think that's, yeah, I smell all that. Our base notes are vanilla, uh, Peru, balsam, and cashmere. So definitely feeling the cashmere. Definitely. I don't smell that balsam though, because that to me would smell like pine, like I'm not, I'm not getting that. So, but anyway, Fragrantica describes um, a replica by the fireplace as woody, vanilla, balsamic, warm, spicy, amber, powdery, nutty, and musky. And I think that's a solid description for that fragrance because it does smell like all of those things. Both of these fragrances are like snuggle season fragrances. And I figured, let me do this video now before spring hits because we're creeping up on spring and then it's going to be too late. I'll have to wait another year. <laughs> so anyway, let's get this in now. So, um, like I said before, the, this one just doesn't last, and I wish it did, but it doesn't. And it is, I believe it's an Eau de Toilette, which is kind of annoying. And this one, I think, is um, an Eau de Parfum, which it has, basically, the difference is this has oil in it that makes it last longer. And this one is just more like a lighter version. So, basically, the Latafa Amir Al Oud, Intense Oud, is our top notes are saffron and nutmeg, so it's a little bit more spicy. Our hard notes are geranium, woody notes, uh, labdanum, which I looked that up because I didn't know what that meant either, and amber, okay. And um, our base notes are oud, vanilla, and leather. So the similarities are the spices. So our replica has orange blossom, this one does not. Um, this one has oud, this one does not. Um, they both have vanilla, this one is leathery, this one is leathery. Um, 
this one is saffron, this one is not. So I mean, with the exception of Oud, I feel like they're really, really, really similar. Um, so Fragrantica describes the intense Oud as vanilla, woody, sweet, and powdery. So I agree wholeheartedly with that, um, with that analysis from Fragrantica. And I think these are wonderful options, um, especially for the price point. If you don't want to spend $160 and have to keep reapplying and using your fragrance like crazy, like your girl over here, then you can go like this one for $24 on Amazon, sent right to your door. <laughs> and it lasts most of the day. And it's like, but it is that Middle Eastern DNA because there's oud in it. Um, so if you don't like oud, you're going to want to choose the other one. But I feel like these two are sisters and they wear, this one is, a, the, the main thing on the dry down is this one is more chestnutty, whereas, and the, this one is more oud. So I feel like that's the biggest difference in my eyes, um, but I love them both. I just, I tend to favor our Latafa more because I prefer an oud. So, um, but yeah, and this one you could wear all season too. I do. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I hope this um, is helpful to you if you've been seeing the By the Fireplace and you want something that's like a little bit more affordable, a little bit more budget friendly, you can check out the Amir Al Oud and Tensuit because it's it's giving. Listen. So anyway, I hope that this finds you well and happy and healthy and thriving. And I hope you have a fabulous afternoon. Take good care. Bye.